Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Worships Legends and today we've got the Yamato versus nine Iron Dukes. This is gonna be no easy task. If the Iron Dukes load up HE, <laughs> I'm gonna be cooked. But they got the armor piercing, it's still gonna be a tough challenge because Iron Duke is a tough boat to beat. So we're gonna do it in Yami versus nine Iron Dukes. Will we win? I don't know. We're about to find out. Also, for those of you who are new, let me break it down for you. I'm in Yamato. If I beat Nine Iron Dukes, I win, and we move on to the Queen Elizabeth. I just realized I had to face that. Um, <laughs> if the Nine Iron Dukes kill me, they win. If they win on points, they win. If I survive, and they were winning on points or whatever, this is the official rule. If I survive, I win. So, really, I could just survive and win. But we try to kill the Nine Iron Dukes. It's going to be tough. Also, we're on the path to 1,000 subscribers, and we're almost there, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that like button if you want more 1v9s, because these are pretty much the popular videos on the channel. Everyone enjoys um, these challenges and watching them, and also people try them out as well. So, don't be afraid to leave uh, ideas down below for 1v9 ideas. Alright, we got our first Iron Duke detected. I am broadside, however, so we're going to try and turn away. We might eat maybe a nasty hit. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Alright, ricochets. That's alright. We got a good chunk of his health. We get 11k out of him. That is the first Iron Duke detected. I'm expecting more on my right here. They'll be pushing up this straight. We're going to have to win one side, because if we win one side, we can have an advantage. And it'll also give us more spacing, because these guys really like to choke you out on these maps. Like, it's... It's tough. It's not an easy task. Shots are out. Um, those will punch through the deck. We get 14k out of that Iron Duke. If we get rid of one Iron Duke early, that will be huge. Um, I'm expecting some on my right. I haven't seen him yet. I'm trying to keep myself well angled here. Or like just getting in a kiting position. And being well angled away from these guys. And wants to see the Iron Dukes from C-Cap. Which I'm not seeing them yet. I haven't picked them up. Alright, turn around. We're going to try and punch through this deck again. See if we can get a Citadel. We might eat a superstructure hit here. Yep, there's 3k of damage. Um, those are all ricochets and one pin, but did not do any damage. We lost that Iron Duke, which is fine. It brings our focus down to this Iron Duke over here. I still haven't found the ones at Sea Cap. I don't think they're here. I think they went around the island. So that's actually kind of interesting. Because if they're not at Sea Cap, that's actually giving me a lot of spacing here. Yes, I am running. But, you know, I'm trying to get myself in good positioning. I want to have an advantage on the side. We get 7k out of that Iron Duke. And then this is probably the part where we're going to start turning right. Just trying, like, keep ourselves in kiting, but also, like, making an effort to start turning into C-Cap. And there they are. There's the Iron Dukes. All right. Here come the shells from the Iron Duke. Those will lob short. Try again. One more good hit on him, and then we're going to start focusing the ones in front of us. There are Iron Dukes all over the place. So the next try here is to get into a reverse motion and start backing up and keeping ourselves well angled. Because going straight into the fight is going to be pretty pretty uh, deadly. And also, it's running a risk of me getting rammed. And also, fire potential. Because these things, secondaries, they're nasty. I've run the secondary builds on them. They are pretty nasty, even by themselves. So we want to stay away from secondaries and fires. We destroy one of his main guns. So we're going to keep focusing down this one since he's pretty low. I don't know where the other one is. He might be coming around the island on the right. The Iron Duke off on my left is pushing up. We got three more Iron Dukes pushing up from middle of sea. So if we can kill all five of these guys, we'll actually have a huge advantage in this fight. And we're, we got two heals. It's not the best, but I'm running a full accuracy build on my uh, Yamato because I love a good accuracy build. I'm a sniper. Um, that Iron Duke is very low. We're very close to getting our first kill here. They are capturing C cap. They haven't taken B cap, so that lets me know that there are ships or Iron Dukes coming from B cap all the way over here to C cap, which means the whole entire fight's coming towards us. So if we kill this Iron Duke here with one gun, I really hope we do. Down he goes, sweet, and that saves two more guns to shoot at this Iron Duke, which those might ricochet because there's a good armor right there. Some good armor belt scheme there. Also, I want to pull around this island here, so if we can get into position. Like, if I kill this Iron Duke on my right, I might actually push, um, I might push up this side right here. Just go straight this way, if we could kill this guy. Never mind, there's an Iron Duke there. Forget that plan. 
Alright, so we do overmatch Iron Duke's bow. There's a bit of armor that is in the front of it. It's like right here. If you look in the, my little circle, there's a little bit of armor right there that I do not overmatch. So we want to be careful of that because if we do not um, hit the fragile armor, which is the uh, front of the bow right there, then uh, it's we're not going to be doing a whole ton. But our guns are massive, they're going to overmatch, and they're going to be devastating because it's Yamato guns. Like, come on, man. Down goes that Iron Duke. Now we need to get into a position where we need to start like making ourselves effective and giving us more space. So yes, the Iron Duke on my right is going to have my broadside. It's a risk I'm running, willing to take. There's another one with my broadside. I'm not worried. If I turn out and malfunction this guy's guns for a hot second as that Iron Duke's going behind an island, which is actually huge because then that's giving me um, a little bit more of some space and also... Um, less damage to be taken because yes I'm turning broadside against this Iron Duke I'm expecting to take some a nasty hit from these turrets but it's a risk I got to take here I got to get myself some spacing and I mean his shots they're, they were pretty bad so we'll take it there's the fire that's the secondary risk I did not want to take and we get almost we almost kill him the Citadel is a little bit above the waterline but so we got to aim a little like lower here, but he's going to start angling himself, which leaves our rear gun to do the work here. We are on a fire, but I will put this out once we kill this Iron Duke because we do not want to run the risk of getting a, getting a perma fire because then that will be huge for the enemy team. And down he goes to the fire. We're going to put that out, pop our first heal in the match. We got three Iron Dukes down, we got 150k damaged. However, this Iron Duke is broadside. Never go broadside. But, you know, it's bots, so. But we're going to get the shot off, and we destroy his... We don't destroy his gun. We malfunction it. We aimed a little too high there. That's all right, though. Get the rear gun focusing down this Iron Duke, and my goodness, those shells look absolutely beautiful. Three shells do 15k damage. That's absolutely beautiful. Now, we're going to keep making ourselves get into positions and kite our way to this island off on my right. Because if we get behind this island, it gives us a little more room to breathe, a little more to gather our thoughts and what our next move is going to be. We're up on points, but they're going to be up on caps here soon. Um, we're going to focus this Iron Duke that is broadside. Because this guy, yes, he is in a, he's still turning. So um, he's still in a position where I won't maximize damage. We destroy his main gun. Actually, we destroy... We malfunction another gun I believe and we destroyed a main gun it says two malfunctions so I'm gonna admit that we heard a gun over there but we're gonna keep running but we're still turning keep shooting at the Iron Duke then we're gonna try and get behind this island if we get behind this island we'll be golden down goes the Iron Duke with two citadels and that's another kill on the board only five remain two citadels punched through the main deck absolutely destroyed the Iron Duke um, these guys are pulling up. I don't know where the other two Iron Dukes are. They're actually at B cap because that's the only reason why B cap would get taken. We're gonna try and punch through the bow, but that's gonna hit the armor below. We get a couple through um, the front of the ship, but some of those landed short. And we got two pins and one over pin, which is all right. That's all right. Um, this Iron Duke still got us out here. We still got one heal left, so we got some healing to do. Yes, we're a little bit broadside. We're giving him a little bit more, giving him some angle, but it's all right. We're going to aim a little more left to the cheek of the Iron Duke. That way our shells can aim a little higher. I was actually intending to go through the bow, but it didn't really work out there. But we'll take the superstructure hit. UK's got a lot of superstructure in it, especially Queen Elizabeth. Same with King George, Vanguard. Uh, Germans mostly have the superstructure. We're at the four kills of 232,000 damage. Um, we are up in the point game um, as long as we're killing Iron Dukes. And we got five minutes till the battle is over. I'm going to start pulling over. Um, once we kill this Iron Duke, I'm actually going to pull up in front. I am broadside, yes. I'm going to pop a heal because I'm actually expecting to take a bit of a. We might lose a chunk of our health here. And yeah, there it is. That's all right. We're below half health. If we kill this Iron Duke, I'm, I'm going to start pulling forward on them. Which we will kill him. All right, we're, we're gonna give ourselves like we're gonna be exposed with our broadside. That's all right. I'm expecting them to miss. They're kind of leading their shots. However, those two shells look really good. Yeah, aimed a little high there. All right, now we're gonna pull forward in front of them. That way they do not overmatch us. 
and they'll have no choice but to aim high. Rich you this Iron Duke is a little overangled. Those look pretty good. Man, those shells are pretty good. Holy crap. And we chunked this out for 25k. Three Iron Dukes remain. And one still unaccounted for. We're, we're, we're winning in the points. So, we're winning in the points. We still got half our health remaining. Um, those shells are way off. Alright, we're going to pop the spotter here. We're going to pop it on this Iron Duke. Because he's the lowest right now. Try and get a very good shot on him. Those shells look really good. I don't know. Okay. They they punched through them real good. All right. Now, what we're going to do here is start reversing and pretty much try and drain the clock out. We want to stay away from the secondaries, like I've said. So, if we just put it in reverse and stay away from the secondaries, we should be golden because these secondaries will melt me down. We try and punch through the bow. Those are a little over. They'll hit the superstructure. Uh, two ricochets. They all hit the the armor that's on the bow we're gonna start getting in a secondary range here in a second we'll have our secondary start shooting down this iron duke our secondaries reach out 5.2 so there they go if we got a perma fire on uh this iron duke that'll be huge but obviously it's a bot so damn it's connor first we'll try and get rid of this iron duke really quick here before we can start focusing down this guy right here on our right he doesn't have much angle to get all of his secondaries off in order for him to do that he would have to go broadside but I'm not worried about it. We're actually in very good control of this game. We're maxed out on our perk here for our main guns, which is beautiful. We're almost at 300k damage. And now we're gonna aim at the bow and we're gonna punch right through that and down he goes. We got one ricochet, but you know, is what it is. Now we're gonna focus this Iron Duke in front of us. We are winning on points. They're losing points as we kill each Iron Duke as we go. And I gotta be honest here, this has actually been a lot more easier than the Orions. Like, the, the Orions were really tough to beat. I don't know how I wasn't um, able to beat them, but like, they were pretty tough. We get 14, 15k out of that Iron Duke. We did beat the Orions in the rematch, but it seems like the Iron Dukes have been better, or i just done better study on the freaking armor. But the Orions, man, I was not expecting a tough challenge right off the bat. Iron Dukes have been definitely a lot easier here but it's also because we kind of, we switch up the maps we like to switch up the maps every uh 1v9s that we do um some of those rickish three of those ricochet because they hit the belt that's 105 millimeters 115 millimeters it's just i don't overmatch it so they're gonna ricochet we malfunction one of his guns which means he ate a perma fire earlier i think so yeah which is good we got a minute and 19 seconds before the match is over. We overmatch the bow. We're going to try and punch through that. We get a good 6k out of it. That's not bad. All right, he got his gun back. I'm not worried. They can't overmatch me. We're still backing up. And then once we kill this guy, we're going to get a little closer to this Iron Duke over here. That way we could get some uh, more shells. We'll do a little uh, pull by. So what we're going to do is actually start pulling forward here. We're going to have a spotter back in like 15 seconds. And down goes that Iron Duke, and he had a perma fire, and that's game. We won on points, which is beautiful. That's a GG. Seven kills in the Yamato. Two Iron Dukes remained, but we killed all seven of them. Seven kills, 343,000 damage with 130 target hits. We picked up all the uh, ships besides the other two that were all at B point. Three fires, nine malfunctions, two citadels, and 35 secondary hits. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below, and we are moving on to Queen Elizabeth. That's going to be a very tough challenge. I was expect coming in here expecting Iron Duke to be extremely tough, but we were able to handle that pretty well. So yeah, make sure to leave a like, and also subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I'll see you guys next time.